good evening everyone welcome to newton school of technology so in this webinar we'll mostly be talking about uh, competitive programming the benefits it has and how to start off like what should you be doing in your first year around competitive programming and how do you go along in the journey of competitive programming and various other things around the resources which websites you should prefer competitive programming for so we'll be answering all those particular doubts and whatever extra doubts you have you can definitely ask them in q and a section and we'll be uh, taking them up as well i am swapnil negi i graduated from iit roorkee in uh, 2020 post that i worked at microsoft till 2021 uh, and then i joined newton school as a software engineer i have worked extensively on the back end side of the product as well as like algorithmic side where we calculate as to which student should get placed in which companies and the logic behind that apart from that i worked on the ai side of the product during my college life i also started off like you guys some of you might be knowing about competitive programming but i uh, had no knowledge about competitive programming when i joined the college so uh, my journey started from there i have been to icpc regionals from 2017 till 2019 and also represented my college uh, in icpc asia west continental finals in 2020 apart from that i have done google summer of code in summer of 2018 right now i am here as a software and ai engineer at newton school also giving a brief introduction about aniket so aniket uh, is from my same college so he is also from iit roorkee he is a very top rated competitive programmer on uh, almost all the online judges that you can see so over to you aniket so i am aniket thuel after college i have been working with coesity as a software developer for around 2 years now uh, my major interest was in competitive programming only and i did an intern at sprinkler in my college time also just to give you a reference aniket has cracked other companies interviews as well uh, just to name a few google also was a part of those companies let's get started what is competitive programming according to you aniket first i'll start with what is programming right so programming is basically writing code in any of your preferred com- programming language so now going to the field of competitive programming is when you are given some particular particular question which will have a more complex task and you have to solve this question in a given time limit so when you do this in a in a contest form basically where you are com- competing with other other people who are also solving the same problem so that is where we call it competitive program many of you might be knowing that competitive programming is about uh, solving data structures and algorithms problems as well as like some mathematical problems anikit can you give a brief introduction of what data structures and algorithms is and how is it different than competitive programming yeah i think this is a common question that beginners have so basically data structures and algorithms is something that you use when you are program is it's a fundamental concept behind programming itself as small as a small variable that you declare that itself is a data structure and the algorithm is basically the steps that you follow to solve uh, the task that is given for which you are writing the program right it can be as simple as uh, let's say sorting two numbers or basically going through a list of uh, numbers and finding a particular number if it is there or not now when you apply this in programming and you compete it compete using those when you try to use the best data structure or the best algorithm for any particular problem that is when you call it competitive program so that is the basic difference between the two data structures and al- algorithms is the concept and using it to the be- in the best way possible is what we call competitive program so anike jumping on to the next problem which is like uh, th- that that problem was also asked in the qna section when should we start competitive programming first thing i would say is like uh, in terms of various things that you can do in college I think competitive programming is one of the easiest field to get into. It is not it does not really have much of prerequisites. So first you'll have to get a basic understanding of any programming language. Let's say in competitive field it's preferred that you use C++. So once you get the basic understanding of how to write a program in C++ I think that's the time when you can get right into competitive program because I think that would be the only prerequisite that there is. So usually we get introduced to competitive programming in our later days in college when we realize that okay it is required for various interviews and other tasks. That is I would say that that is too late. Like we we do not need to wait that long. In the first year itself you can get introduced to competitive programming. You can start solving problems in using various online judges and I think once you reach 
third year or fourth year you already know a lot about computer programming compared to those who are starting now so in short i would say it's best to start the earliest possible and usually first year of college is when you start let's uh, get on to the next thing that we want to discuss and that would be like what are the best resources and platforms where we should be starting competitive programming i think it is divided in basically two sections one is where do you learn stuff and other is where do you apply what you have learned or where do you test what you have learned so for the learning section i think uh, you will have to find some so there will be many platform many courses first one is you will have to learn programming language so one thing is that first you have to get a command of a programming language so you can so even if you have solution there may be case even if you have solution but you do not know how to implement that so that that won't help right so it is necessary that you learn enough so that you can apply your solution so you'll have to learn some programming language you can find various courses online i think geeks for geeks is a good platform to start where you can start reading about a programming language and you can understand the concepts there and you can also find some online courses on an academy related to maybe c++ so once you have uh, got a hold of the programming language then i think it would be learning about algorithms for that i would recommend a reverse way let's start by pro- solving problems once you start solving problems let's say the, there is a good platform code chef called code chef i think that is a very uh, good platform to get introduced to programming problems there are basically problems stacked based on the difficulties so you can start with the easiest ones So once you st- start solving those problems, and there will also be editorials provided, which will give you solutions if you are not able to uh, solve that particular problem. So you should start by solving the easiest problems on on these platforms like, like Code Forces or Code Chef. So once you start solving the easy easier problems, some you will be able to solve, some you may not be able to solve. So whichever problem you are not able to solve right it is best to see the solution of it before moving on do not move on without solving that problem so once you find the editorials for it and you see the solutions that's how you learn this you may see that someone has used a particular algorithm in the solution which you are not aware of which you have never heard of that's how you get to know which all algorithms you need to learn so go to some other go to let's say geeks for geeks to see what the, what that algorithm is how how to implement it i think that's the fastest way of learning i think what how does it feel uh, to be an icpc world panelist and represent uh, your institute your country at a world platform talking about icpc world finals so when you get qualified you are very happy right you you feel like okay you, this is the top you can reach but like when you reach the icpc platform the world finals platform when you are at the venue you really get overwhelmed you get to see all the coders that have come around the world you see their online judge performances you see how like the variety of the programmers that you can see at the platform is really overwhelming and at the same time it feels quite nice it feels like you have achieved something so yeah i think it would be one of the best experience of my life during the problem solving part what is the best experience that you have in competitive programming yeah, when we went to asia uh, west continental selection based, which is basically the qualifier for world, world finals so you qualify there you go to the world finals. so when we uh, went there so we were basically one problem short of being in the top there was like 5 minutes left we had already submitted our solution but it was not passing there was some bug in the code and we were going through the code we printed the code we were going through all three of our team members we were going through the code we were doing some little changes and we were again submitting so the pressure there so it was like uh, around 1 minute left and we did the submit and it passed you were like who oh, finally and that was our ticket to world finals So I think that would be the most thrilling experience that would be the most thrilling pop problem I ever solved. Not even world finals problems come near to the thrill that I had during that problem. Other than yeah that was for the most thrilling part but yeah you also have the fun parts right. So I had the privilege to be part of the same team as Sapnil in my college and we went to Gwalior 
regionals the contest was good of course but apart from contest also you have a lot of fun when you are visiting with your friends to a regional you fool around before the day before and the day after so those all experience all the regionals i i have given i would say those experiences are the best there might be a moment in your first year when you started off competitive programming you learned some few concepts of c++ and then you gave your first uh, competitive programming contest how did it look like when you initially give a programming contest it is mostly a roller coaster so you will basically solve your first problem it may take some time let's say five you took uh, 15 to 20 minutes to solve one problem so when you solve it you get very happy you see the your rank shift by a lot on the leaderboard and seeing that rank you get a thrill you so that's when you when you solved your first problem that's the peak of your happiness now then you go to the second problem you face some difficulties because obviously it is it is more difficult than the first one so you think you may be able to solve it you may not be able to solve it so we, so that's that's that dictates how your contest go so when you, if you are able to solve let's say your initial limits is two problems and you solve your third problem in some particular contest yeah that will be your happiest day you'll feel so nice so i think those were the experiences that i shared as well and it will probably be what you all you all of you will share as well and again do you have any idea on like how the curriculum was and how did it support in competitive programming and like in iits as well what you get better is the peers iits itself do not teach you competitive programming it's not really a subject there and even for development parts you rely on the peers there will be various campus groups that iits will have in that they will be dedicated to competitive programming they will be dedicated to software development things like that so if uh, yeah it's not really the course work that will help you get through the icpc or or gsoc it's the people there and if we do similar targeting if we it needs a remodeling if we do similar target targeted study here then it will be much better just a question like how has competitive programming enhanced your overall problem solving skills in your life well, one of the extra benefit that you get as part of doing competitive programming so you may not need competitive programming throughout your life you can think that but what it brings to the table is the problem solving skill that you acquire so like we were discussing that you will go through a problem you will not be able to solve it you will learn from others you will learn how various types of approaches that you should think of when you are solving a problem so this overall brings up your aptitude i would think and it overall brings your problem solving skill now when you go move to developmental work right when you are doing software development so there will be similar problems it may not be exactly like what you did in competitive programming but it will align very much with you and you'll you'll be able to solve it much much faster from uh, compared to those who have not yet experienced competitive program i think uh, that would be the question that we'll be taking right now it was definitely a very interactive sessions and thank you guys for being a part of it if you have any queries any doubts newton school of technology stream is always there to resolve them and thanks a lot aniket for attending this particular session it was really insightful i recall a lot of moments that we spent together doing competitive programming also so it was really an awesome thing and i hope like students here have learned something yeah thanks thanks, thanks for having me so it was good